What up all my awesome subscribers? So if y'all aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe down below and hit the little bell so that y'all get notified when I post more outboard tricks like this in the future. I got an awesome one for y'all today. So let's go head over to that boat in the shade over there and let's check out exactly what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so let's check it out. So I'm not going to adjust anything on this. I just want to show you my really quick tip here. Basically you have the wide open um, timing adjustment here. So we're not going to touch that because that's probably the most important adjustment on this thing. If you mess that up, it'll destroy the engine. So I have that set perfectly. So we're not going to mess with anything, but this is the, the idle stop screw, you know, to adjust the idle. There's some other linkages in here you can adjust. Basically what I'm going to be focused on right here, this is the, the timing. They call it the, the pickup timing. It's basically like idle timing. So it's really complicated. To do a whole link and sync is what they call it on this thing. You need a service manual really to do it. But basically at idle, the, vow, the, the throttle plates have to be completely closed. So you can see there's these two scribe marks on here and this one right here points at this little plastic roller here. Well, it's on a cam, you know, this, is, this isn't perfectly flat, it's rounded here, so it progresses, you know, it moves. And it's very, very, very difficult to set this by eye. You have this off when you're setting it and the throttle plates, you have to watch for them to slightly open, slightly open. So this is where the trick comes into play, okay? And this is gonna help y'all adjust this and it's gonna help y'all adjust the cables that are down here because uh, to get the slack out of them is very difficult too. So here's the trick, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back over in the sun now so y'all can see me a little bit better. So here's what we do. Take an old WD-40 can, pop the straw off. Take this straw and go get a little baby alligator clamp like this, okay? Pop the straw on it, just like that. And now here's our tool. So let's head back over to the outboard over there and I'm gonna show y'all exactly what we're gonna do with this thing. All right guys, so you take the little tool we just made and the technical term for this in the service manual is called a throttle shaft amplifier. I know, right? So you take it and clip it on here. Just like that, okay? And so what that's gonna do is, it's gonna translate this movement, this little tiny, tiny movement into a big movement. So now, if when you barely move this thing, you see you barely move it, you can see it moving. You can't perceive these throttle plates opening by eye with that tiny little movement. But since it's a long straw here, now you can see the tiniest little movement translates into a movement of that straw. And uh, you gotta play with it a little bit, you know, maybe put it like that. But um, you can see, I'm, I'm not even, barely even pressing on it and you can see it moving. So I'm gonna go up to the, the remote control up here and move it so that y'all can see that moving and it's gonna help you when you're sitting in the seat trying to adjust the cables, you know, adjust all that stuff. You can see when it starts to move. Watch this. Okay, so you see the tiniest little movement translates to a big movement up here. And that will help you tune this thing way easier, especially when you go to adjust these little cables down here. I'll show you all that. It'll help you adjust that too. All right, so these cables, when you need to adjust these things, they got these little wheels on them and uh, you're supposed to disconnect them, take the slack out, put them up and stuff. But th this can help with that too. I can't really move them because they're locked in place, but you see. When that cable starts to move, it moves everything. It's a lot easier to see with that uh, straw on there. And one more thing I forgot. Um, the whole point of this is when you set the pickup timing or um, you know idle timing whatever you want to call it you want these carburetors 
every single one of them has to be uh, completely closed. So it has to be completely closed. And um, as you forward the throttle, the timing starts to advance. As the timing starts to advance, the throttle plates start to be opened. Hence the name link and sync. They all, it all has to be synchronized together. So right now, throttle plates closed. As you uh, push the remote control forward, it starts to advance the timing. The plates start to open. And then till they get completely flat. Now it's also useful to try to help to get them completely flat. Basically you want everything here synced up. When they're all closed, they're all closed. When they're all completely open, they're all completely open and you have to play with it with all these screws here. Basically loosen all the screws, let them rest, tighten it, do that whole deal. And as promised, here's a close up of the little plastic roller here. So if yours is missing, cracked, really loose, or has a deep gouge in it or groove in it, you need to replace it. So you can see this one isn't that bad. But basically this little thing right here, it has to be on there and it has to be in good shape or else you'll never, ever, ever get the thing tuned right because of the way it rides on here. So that's the trick guys. Free secret tool. I've never seen it anywhere online. Never seen it anywhere. Just wanted to share that with y'all today, guys. All right, guys, so that's the trick. I hope it helped y'all out. I know it did. Drop me a huge thumbs up down below if y'all appreciated this video, if it helped you guys out and get your outboard tuned up. And don't forget to sub and leave me a comment and all that great stuff. For now, y'all, I'm out. Later.